Eagles rookie cornerback Jalen Mills is going to be seeing this play a few times in the film room. In the second quarter of Monday night's game between the Eagles and Bears, Jay Cutler hit Olshin Jeffrey with a 49-yard bomb to put Chicago deep in the red zone. Cutler managed to heave a throw off his back foot while under heavy pressure, and Jeffrey handled the rest. At this point, you might be wondering how Jeffrey was still open after Cutler dodged a few defensive linemen and launched a throw that forced Jeffrey to cut off his route. It turns out Jeffrey hit Mills with a double move that nearly dropped the rookie flat on his face. Jeremy Langford later scored on a one-yard touchdown run to finish the drive, giving the Bears a 7-3 lead. Jeffrey already has three catches on three targets for 73 yards through one half of play. Might be a long night for Mills. Malcolm Jenkins followed through on his plan to protest during the national anthem Monday night. The Eagles' safety did so after much deliberation. Jenkins said in advance of the protest that he discussed his views with Philadelphia police, and he called a friend who is serving in the U.S. Air Force to get his take. He says he is not anti-police or anti-military. I have a lot of friends who have served in the military, my grandfather served in the military. By no means would I do anything to disrespect them, Jenkins told PhillyVoice.com on Saturday, two days before his team's game in Chicago against the Bears. Jenkins said that respect led him to not protest during week one of the NFL season, which coincided with the 15th anniversary of the September 11th attacks. On Monday, he and teammates Stephen Means, Ron Brooks and Marcus Smith raised their fists during the singing of the Star Spangled Banner at Soldier Field. The players made the gesture hours after police in Tulsa, Oklahoma, released video of city officers shooting dead Terence Crutcher, an unarmed black man whose car had broken down. Jenkins told PhillyVoice.com his protest would be a statement against social injustice especially the justice system that's in place that directly affects the underserved community, which most times affect African Americans, Jenkins was quoted as saying. I already do a lot in the community and I feel this falls in line with what I've been doing since I got into the league. You know, people see and read headlines and assume something without actually reading the message that's under the headline. The police are part of the solution. It has nothing to do with the military or the flag itself. But that's what keeps the conversation going. Eagles coach Doug Pedersen said last week that he would join in a protest if the entire team decided to take part. Pedersen did not join with the three players Monday night, PhillyVoice.com reported. Correction, an earlier version of this article listed the wrong position for Jenkins. He is listed as a safety on the Eagles roster. roster.